Couldn't complete it. Ferrado knocks it into space. His fellows, he's a classy footballer. Snaps around the corner. Saw something at the corner of his eye. Couldn't hit the target. Leary in traffic. Concedes now to Hagar. Missed the target by handball. They've gone a long way back here, the dogs. Short chip to Dooley. 60 from home. Has to lower the eyes and find a target. Wiedemann! Oh, what a grab! He rode the back of Seb Hamlin. And maybe that could get him going. Tried hard all day. And after a mark like that, it deserves a finish. From directly in front. And he is put through the first of the afternoon for the Dogs. Has to backpedal and his pop kick goes to absolutely nobody in particular. In fact, he's picked out Josh Walsh. Quick switch across the ground. Hamblin, Martin, and now they're away the Lions. Good passage of play. Gets it out in front of Krebsa. If it sits, he's away. It sits and he is away. Long and strong kick. Looking for Ben Walsh. Does the body work early. Couldn't take the mark. Collects. Caught. Eventually comes to Foley. And now McKeg. Quick snap on goal. Bounces through. It'll Luke Mazzocchi. So they weather the storm here, the dogs. As Ness works his way forward. Short chip to McRae at half back. Hand passes it back to Ness. Now they've worked themselves into trouble. McRae puts the hands up, gets it to Mazzocchi. Ness, they're not out of the woods yet. Hand pass now stolen away by Martin. He arches the back there on Wallet. McKegg brushes one tackle, fires it back inside 50. Two on one. Olsen couldn't get near the football. Waiting down for it. Hamblin dragged off it, gets a free kick. Man on his own in the square is Krebsar. Gets to him, plays on, and just gets boot to ball. And kicks a goal. Back out to a 19-point lead. 4-4, four, four, 28 playing, 1-3-9. 12 and a half minutes gone, second term. And he's given away a high free kick. Has Sasse on. Surveys the field. So there's plenty of... Blue, white, and red. So he tries to look for the Lions jumper. Walsh, strong hands. Wants to play on and go. Kicks it to space. Leads her on. Will it find a target? It does. Jacob Taylor drifting into the space. Takes a comfortable mark. And he's going to get a look at goal. We've gone 16 minutes of this second term. His side, Taylor, lead by three goals to extend the margin to four goals. It's a stuttering approach. He gives it all he's got. And he's kicked it. They do extend that margin. 5-4-34 playing 1-4-10. 16 and a half minutes gone, second term. It's first mitt to it. Couldn't find a teammate by hands. Quinn trying to kick it through traffic. Lander trying to paddle to his own advantage. Kick off the decks. Oh, fortuitously finds the hands of Walsh. Play on the call, though. He kicks to space. McKegg sits for him. Tries to turn inside. Did really well, McKegg. Fires it right to the hot spot in the one on one. Olsen! Good mark in front of Doyle. And this would be truly be devastating here for the dogs if he can kick truly from 10 metres out. For a 30-point lead late in the second term. Jacob Olsen, to complete the formalities, has given them a 30-point lead. If there's one thing that's a positive for the Bulldogs, that time is on their side. They can get themselves back into this game, but they need to act soon. Dooley breaks clear, and he's running through the middle of the ground, driving it long and strong. Ashcroft in the one-on-one. Might clear them! And Dooley gets the quick response. And the second goal of the afternoon for the Bulldogs. 2-4, 16-6-4-40. We're back to a four-goal margin. 19 minutes gone, second term. 
He tries to bite off the ch short chip. Fellows wants Glanville again. He's about to run himself into trouble. Quick enough to get the kick forward. Kicks it to a, a den of Lions. It comes our way of the Lions. Walsh driving it long to that one-on-one -on -one matchup again. You'd think again. Olsen, good mark. Doyle looked for the in the back. But Jacob Olsen is just too big and too strong. If you put it anywhere in his vicinity, he's going to mark it. And Nate fist forward. Dooley bashes it onwards as well. Only into the path of Burhop. Concedes to the runner and Josh Walsh. And they're away again, the Lions. Martin running and gunning all game. Runs his full distance and drives it long to the pocket. McKeg, good reach. And he marks it full stretch. Plays on. Can fire on the open goal. Gives it a ride, McKeg. And he gets it. Seven six forty eight playing two four sixteen is an absolute rort here at Robertson Oval. Best waiting down for it. Burhop through the hands of Seb Hamlin, and now Margosis arching the back going forward. Hurries it up the half forward. Doesn't sit nicely for anybody except Carr, and the Lions get out of trouble once again. Long kick up the half forward. Foley met the football. Comes away with McKeg. He's been everywhere this quarter, and another goal. He's got three for the afternoon. And he kicks the margin out to 38 points. 9 6 60, playing 3 4 22. Six minutes gone of the third term. The wide kick. Good hard running there by Josh Ashcroft. He wants to burst through. In fact, he walks his way around a couple. Sizzling ball through the middle of the ground. Missed the intended target. In came Josh Walsh of the Lions, paddling it forward. Stapleton couldn't control the bouncing football. Taylor did. Hand pass stolen by Mazzocchi. Margosis. And now Fellows. The dogs are away. Inside 50 kick towards Wallet. Good grab. Goes long. Vacant goal square. Beckons for him. And he's missed. Clearance is all vital here at the moment. Hamblin bending it back out to Marne. Slips the tackle. Smothered kick. It could sit here for Fellows. It does. He bursts away. Short shit. Missed the intended target of Smith. It'll get to Smith now. Turns inside. See something he likes in board. And he finds Peters. It wasn't pretty, but it was effective. They've got the mark inside 50. And now this is an important kick. They're slowly wrestling the ascendancy back in this contest. They have to kick the goals. Peters, the left footer, gets close, and it's good. They get another one back, Turvey Park. 5-5, five, five, 35, playing 9-7, 61, 16 and a half minutes gone, third term. We're back to a 26-point ball game. Mark Sasse coming through the other way. Skyward ball underneath it, Fellows. At full stretch, takes a good grab. Wants to move it quickly. Wallet makes the lead. It heads in that direction. Dropping into the hole was, well, was Marne, but he wore some contact by his teammate. Now all men are down. Meanwhile, the kick goes out to the wing. Krebs with speed. Tries to break. Glanville does nicely. Inside 50 ball. Proctor's there. Double fist comes from Ashcroft. Can he control it before the boundary line? No, oh, he has to walk it over. All men in that contest a little bit ginger as Marne and Dooley bring themselves to their feet. Inside 50 here for the Dogs. Another Ruckman getting a hand on it. Josh Walsh paddling it down. Smith, now Ness. Hurry kick on goal. Goes right to the square. Ashcroft takes the mark. And he can reduce this margin to 21 points. Only five metres out on a slight angle. Sometimes this spot is the curse for the key forwards. But it can't be for Brad Ashcroft. He needs to kick truly. One of the leading goal kickers of the competition. This is what he does. Kicks goals. 6-5-41 now plays 9-8-62, 21-point margin here at Robertson Oval. Four and a half minutes gone, final term. Looking for Emery. 
Good fist from behind comes from Walsh. Waiting for it, though, was Glanville. Left foot ball's a good one here to Fellows. It sits in front of him. He has to brush off Burhop. Great tackle, Burhop. Heard the voice over his shoulder, though, did Fellows. Mazzocchi feeds it on down to Ferrado. And now Margo says, went with one hand, and now he's in trouble. Just knocks it on. That's all they can do at the moment. Emery. Smith. They still have control of possession as Margosis manages to get it back to Smith. Now Emery again. It's not pretty. They're just trying to get it going forward. High kick up to half forward. Flyers come from everywhere. Waiting down for it was Hamlin. Knocked off the football. In comes Leary. Now Dooley. Hurried snap on goal. He might go through. It wasn't pretty, but that's the desired result. 7-5, 47 plays, 9-9, 63, 16-point ball game here at Robertson Oval. Turvey Parker on the comeback. Smith, check side ball in the space. Race on now for the football. Who's going to get there first? Walsh gets there. Tracked, though, by Emery, brought to ground. Could be gone and is. Wants to move it quick. Lowers the eyes, looking for a leading target. Car drops in front first. Stolen away by Peters. He's brought to ground as the ball goes over. And we'll get a boundary throw in. The pressure is well and truly lifted here. Preliminary final. Final term. Ferrado perhaps held. Umpire calls it. And he's given it to Anthony Ferrado. So he's going to get a look at goal. As a matter of fact, it might go the way of Smith. In the meantime, Smith from just inside 50 for a 10-point ball game. Gives it a ride. It gets close. Another goal to the Dogs. Goes wide. Up to the wing. Good lead and good mark taken by Jacob Taylor. Switches it back in, board to Quinn. Still on the far side wing. Surveys the field and they're all playing down the line and that's where he heads. Man, good hands. Strong grab. Can go inside 50. The leading players come. The flyers come and the mark's been taken by Seb Hanlon. The young defender thrown forward. Is going to get a look from 45 metres out on a 45 degree angle to give them some more breathing space. It'll take his very best. He lets rip the young man. It's going to get right to the line. Ah, oh, stand up and applaud. Young Seb Hamlin kicks it back out to a 16-point lead. 10-9-69. 8-5-53. 12 and a half minutes gone, final term. And now the important ball. Long towards that one-on-one again. Hamlin in front, K. Ashcroft. He marked it at ground level. Umpire said it hit the turf first. A touch-and-go decision. Could prove costly for the Dogs. Wiedemann, Fellows, Hagar, throws away one, gets caught by a second, and it should be rewarded. Hamlin again. You would have thought coming into this contest that Matt Hamlin would have been a match winner, let alone Seb Hamlin. He proved to be the man from 45 metres out a moment ago. From an acute angle of 35 metres out. Hard pressed against the boundary line. Oh, what a snap! He is the match winner! Oh, it's been deemed a point. Ah, oh, he celebrated. It's good. This is Proctor. He can control the ball here. Taylor on his own out in the wide wing. The kick has to make him wait. Lead comes from Hamblin. It goes in that direction. He's marking everything at the moment. Couldn't take that one. Ashcroft steps up. Hand passes over his shoulder. Smith, Mazzocchi, 
Neat kick inside, has a man open, finds him. This is Stapleton. Long way from home. He's called to go around the mark. And he's setting himself up for a shot here. This kick would have to come from about 60 metres out. We have seen him kick goals from this range on the run. But a set shot is something different. Close to the man on the mark. He gives it a ride. Oh, what a kick. What a ball-bursting kick. Oh, come off the moment. Come off the man. Harry Stapleton reduces the margin to 10 points. 9, 6, 60. 10, 10, 70. 17 and a half minutes gone. Final term. Holy. Looking for Krebsar. Oh, set a task for him. Lewington will come in to collect for the Dogs. Dragged off the footy. Umpire's found a hold. Which way? The Dogs way. Has Glanville on in board. Uses him. All on his own at half forward is Peters. Will it get to him? Oh, good courage. And he's taken a good grab. Gets back on the mark. He'll take his shot. 45 metres out. He's already kicked one this afternoon. We're about to tick on the time on here at Robertson Oval. Joel Peters. Kicks on line. It comes back. And they've got another one. Four-point ball game. 10-6-66 plays 10-10-70. We've been treated to an absolute classic, but there can only be one winner. Olsen, Ferrado. In went, Landville caught one high. And another. Could it be 50? Umpire says no. Glanville plays on anyways. Goes long. Need a mark. Ashcroft! Oh, stood tallest in the pack. And held strong. Could he put them in front? Twenty-one and a half minutes gone. Final term. Ten six sixty-six plays ten ten seventy. But Robertson Oval holds its breath on the boot of Brad Ashcroft. A straight kick puts them in front by two. And it's straight! The dogs are up! A 41 point turnaround since midway through the third term. Everyone is on the edge of their seat. As a holding free kick, it's going to go the way of Olsen. Wastes no time. There's no time to waste. Walsh, Krebser at half back. They need to move the ball quickly here, the Lions. He looks up. Measures the kick to Marne. It's a good one. And 50 metres. Still one last act to play here at Robertson Oval. They need to find a target inside Ford 50. Man. And it's a mark or we'll have to come back all the way back to Man. Anticlimactic. We're still anticlimactic. We need to get that ball back to Kirk Man. We can barely hold on here at Robertson Oval. 11 6 72 playing 10 10 70. From 55 metres out, he's going to have a shot himself. Could he be the match winner that the Lions need? He takes something off the kick. They all fly, waiting down. Mizoki needs to clear for the dogs. It's going to get close to the line. It will go over. Umpire. Says deliberate. 
Burhop now. Goes in board. Nearly cut off by Stapleton. Walsh. Long and strong. They need a mark. Ham wanted to be the flyer. In front was McKegg. He couldn't grab it. They're all fighting for it at ground level. Scrap on for the football. Oh, we can all take a breath for a few seconds. 25 minutes gone. Another lion down on his, on his haunches. Dooley, Foley, wrestle for it. Ball up once again. It's Mann who brings himself to his feet. He looks to be struggling. Ferrado. And now Fellows clears the congestion. But for how long? It gets up to the wing position. Carr breaks one tackle. Feeding Sasse going forward. Has to backpedal. Switch kicks a good one. Taylor has Walsh on if he wants to use him. Alex to go more direct. High without contest. 20 metres out. Ball gets out the back. Doyle for the dogs. Needs to be composed. Short chip through the hands of Krebsart. Glanville, Margosis, the running barrel of a kick into space. Race on for the football. Sasse tracks it back first. Has Burhop in support. Gets caught initially by Mizoki. Gets a hand pass out. Fight on. Brad Ashcroft breaks away. Tests the hip injury if you don't mind. Goes inside Ford 50. It'll get close to the boundary line. Umpire, we wait on your call. He says, throw it in. Oh, that could be telling in the context of this game. Dogs defense held up strong. Twenty-six and a half minutes gone, final term. Ferrato with the tap. Peters, he can't gather. And we'll get another ball up. We've now gone 27 minutes of the final quarter. The Dogs trailed by 39 points midway through the third. They lead by two. Watts, clearing kick for the Lions. Goes out of bounds on the full. Not much long left. Ness gets the directions from Dooley just to fire it back inside. 50 towards Ashcroft. Or a mark to... Oh, yes, to Ferrado. I initially thought the push out was going to be paid, but Big Ferrado has taken the mark. And he'll take as much time as is necessary. Oh, it doesn't matter! The dogs have won! We wait on the kick of Anthony Ferrado. He's missed everything. It doesn't matter. The dogs have come up in a big way here and they move undisputably to a grand final against the Swans next week.